Hey gang, it's Clay here and it is a good day to be hanging out at Mountain Music Exchange. I hope you all are having a good one as well. Uh, today we are going to talk about some cool new guitars from Fender. We're going to talk about the new American Professional 2 Series. Uh, we've got some cool ones to show you here, so without further ado, let's check them out. Alright, first up, we've got the American Professional 2 Stratocaster in triple single configuration with uh, maple neck and maple fretboard. Check that out. That is a beauty. The first thing, I'm gonna go from top to bottom on this, but first thing, if you wanna talk about first impressions, as soon as you look at this guitar and pick it up, um, this neck feels really good. If you've played any of the Ultra Series guitars, this is gonna feel a lot, a lot like that. Um, it's what Fender calls now the new supernatural finish for the back of the neck on these. Now, if you can tell, the front is still that gloss, so you're gonna get that kind of classy gloss look you've been getting for years from the Fender American range and like that standard kind of range. But this supernatural feels really good. I really, really, really like it. Um, another little quick note. Uh, I noticed that anything that Fender does, like on the Ultra guitars, they just call it ultra, and I just think that's cool. So like it's got ultra pickups, ultra switching, uh, ultra neck, it's everything's ultra, and it's so easy and it's so cool, and I really like that. But this is uh, that same sort of feel, but it's called Supernatural. Another thing I noticed that immediately caught my eye was that this is an American Stratocaster with a maple fretboard, maple neck, uh, and a factory tortoiseshell pick guard. Um, I, I like it, it looks good. It's just a little different, because normally, like the flagship sort of when you think of a Fender Stratocaster, especially in their marketing, um, the first thing you think of is like white pit guard, sort of classic 54-esque Stratocaster look. And I think what they're telling us here is that this is gonna be something that's, this range is sort of evolving past just sticking straight to those sort of tenants, those things that they've stuck with forever on that, you know, and if you still want that, you can still totally get that in the player series. You can still totally get that in the, like the lower, like the American Performer series, or you can go up and get them in the American Original series. There are plenty of Sunburst Stratocasters with maple necks and white pit guards hanging around out there. So I like the fact that they're actually going to kind of move, you know, in a, like an evolving direction with these. I think it's really cool. So anywho, uh, let's start top to bottom on this bad boy. Of course, you'll see classic gear tuners here, and you can see, hopefully, I'm giving you a good enough shot. Those are staggered. So, you would only have to have one string tree to kind of hold in maximum, like, tuning stability, keep away sympathy vibrations, all that fun stuff. Uh, classic Fender logo. Uh, I noticed the grain on this alder body looks really good, and I really, really like it. I don't know, sometimes I think they could be a little hit or miss. They can look a little plain. Or something but this one actually has a pretty good unique sort of look to it especially in lieu of not having ash this year on this series i think that's pretty cool so we kind of talked about the neck but uh, let's talk about the neck shape real quick this is what fender calls a deep c and that's deep uh c not like deep c right so um it's got it feels like your hand completely up and i think that's a cool feeling it doesn't really feel like a, a thicker neck. It just sort of, I don't know, it, 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 it still feels like a fender neck and the rolled edges feel really good on this too. But it's called a deep C and they say um, that that is their most requested neck profile in the custom shop. And they also say that their most requested fret size in the custom shop is narrow tall, which is what we have here on all the American Pro 2 Series guitars. We have narrow, tall frets and I, they are narrow for sure and they are tall but I don't think they feel intrusive or in the way I mean they still feel smooth especially on the sides I mean they're cut perfect here on the sides but they still feel smooth they don't feel like uh, they're gonna be tall in any sort of sense that's going to make playing any kind of hindrance. I, I don't know if it helps, but it certainly doesn't hurt. Just kind of depends on what your preference really is, but playing these, I, I really like them actually. So, uh, yeah. And then of course we talked about the tortoise shell pick guard. Let's talk about the pickups really quick on this one. 
we've got vmod 2 series pickups here now uh, in case you're not familiar with the uh the vmod series pickups you're actually using two magnets here you're using an alnico 2 on the base side and a 5 on the treble and what that does is that enhances your lows and really like pushes your highs outward so like an Alnico 2 magnet, it's a really good rhythm kind of magnet. And an Alnico 5 magnet, it's a really good lead kind of magnet. Why not just put both in one pickup? And I liked them on the last American series. They promote more clarity on these, and I'm not 100% sure what that means. But in playing these, I think they sound like a little bassier, maybe, or a little more... That somewhere in between like a V-Mod pickup from the first American Professional Series and like the Fat 50s from the American Pro Series or from the American Standard Series before that, if you remember those. I really like those pickups and this is a little bit closer to that. So I think it just covers a broader range of frequencies. They sound really good. Uh, and another thing that's really cool about this one too, every one of these guitars has some sort of like... You know, there's a push-push pot down here, and you can see. And on this guitar, on the triple single Strat, it promotes like the neck pickup being activated in any situation. So you can theoretically, if you play your cards right, have the neck have all three pickups activated at the same time. And there are some other Strat-style guitars, I think, or maybe there's a circuit you can buy that'll do that. But this one does it from the factory. It's a cool sound, it's kind of a big sound, but it's a really cool sound, and I think you'll dig it. Also, don't forget that micro tilt adjustment on the back, which it's been there forever in the American Standards and the American Pros, but it is there again. Still have the two-point trim with the drop-in bar. Um, so if you're not crazy about the threaded bar, having to like fiddle with the spring or keep up with the spring, you don't have to do that here. You just pop that bar in. You can make a couple of adjustments on the underside here in the block and it's easy peasy, that's good. All right, cool. So, we've got some other guitars to check out though, not just this Strat. We have this Strat, which is in one of my favorite new colors this year, this is Mercury. And I think that's like the perfect name for this. It reminds me of like the T-1000 or Robocop or something cool. It's like a silver burst, but as you can tell here, it doesn't go all the way black around the edges. It just goes into a deeper silver which I think is a really good look. Um, it's a very modern look. I don't know if everybody will dig that color, but I certainly dig that color, and I certainly dig the new Dark Knight color as well. Um, I really, really dig the new Dark Knight color, actually. Um, we had one in here, but we sold it before I could throw it on the video, which uh, sort of breaks my heart, but I think I'm gonna do another video on the Deluxe Telecaster when it comes in, and that will be in Dark Knight, hopefully and that will be a cool one. So, uh, again, still looking at the gloss headstock, supernatural neck finish here. You still have something I didn't mention on the other strap. You have sort of the American Deluxe era-esque, or maybe even the Ultra, the sort of beveled edge here. So you get a little bit better access without kind of like banging your hand on an edge. You can kind of run all the way down and it's, it's not bad really. It's not as thin at this point. I mean, you can see like as the Ultra, where the Ultra will sort of curve upward into a thinner thing here to give you even better access. It's not quite that, but it is, in my opinion, from a playability standpoint, an improvement over just the regular bolt plate that you find on most every Fender guitar. And I don't have a problem with those either by any means, but this is certainly an improvement. It doesn't feel like you're going to bust your hand up when you get to that higher register. So, this one's still equipped with, of course, Rosewood fretboard, VMod 2 pickups here, and you've got the new Fender VMod 2 double tap here in the bridge. Um, I like the double tap. I really actually really like the double tap as far as the split is concerned. I think it's a perfectly suitable humbucker. Uh, I really don't have a problem with it. I think you can kind of cover about whatever range you want to with it. But really where the magic in this double tap is, is when you activate the tone control here and you push push pot you are going to get access to just the single coil of this and the way that the double taps are wound they when you split or tap into that coil it sounds so 
chimey and so bright it, you don't really lose your high end off of that it doesn't roll off at all so it sounds very very much like a noiseless single coil and i really like that versatility because it's actually usable if you've had some tappable guitars or splittable guitars i've had some that i felt weren't usable at all when you split it it was just a waste of time it was a waste of even installing the pot I don't feel that way with these at all, actually. I really, really like the double tap pickup and the sound. And I like this Zebra Coil, if only just because it sort of still gives you a sort of triple single look, so it looks very stratty against the black pick guard with the black bobbin here. So, I just really dig that. Cool. All right, and so this is not just a Stratocaster video. This is, oh yeah. A Telecaster video as well. Look at that. Maple fretboard, maple neck, deep seat profile, narrow tall frets, classic gear, staggered tuners. This is the American Professional 2 Telecaster in Sienna Sunburst. Now, uh, there has been debate over Pine versus Ash because Ash is sort of out this year. Fender made an announcement some months ago that they weren't going to source ash for regular run guitars it was going to be a pretty special occasion to get an ash body um and there's been a little debate over the pine thing but i will tell you this this guitar has a beautiful grain with the roasted pine and it is super super light you know there are fans of telecasters who say they have to be light tellies i don't know why exactly but uh, there is that crowd and I think this appeals to that crowd and myself pretty good I feel like I could play this guitar for a very long time and it feels light but it does not feel cheap and there is a difference if you have felt a cheap light guitar there is a difference and this does not feel that way I assure you that um, again you're looking at Vmod 2 pickups here with the Telecaster they made some real enhancements to the bridge now you can see and you've probably seen as I've turned this guitar around and sort of modeled it, that uh, it's got a string through body, triple brass saddles. Now, also, these saddles are the compensated brass saddles like you would have found on something akin to like a Hot Rod 52 or something like that. So these hold intonation way better than like the traditional 52-esque barrels these are a lot easier to kind of work with maintain and keep intonation correct on them so i think that's really cool my favorite wait a minute check that out i don't know if you can see that i hope kevin can get you a shot of that if i can't do it you can see that enamel wire around that vmod 2 pickup and it just looks really cool or kind of classic i like that okay anyway uh the bridge on this one is also Something I think should have happened with Telecasters a long time ago, which is it's string through, but it's also top loader. So uh, there are certain crowds of people who believe that string through is better, the body's more resonant, etc. There are certain crowds of people who believe that top loading is better because it's more contact with metal and what have you. Um, now you've just got both. You don't have to argue with your friends over which telly's better because you can just try out different things. I've got an idea with this that I would like to try out, which is, and this might just be crazy and it might look terrible. It might not look any way at all. I don't know, but I've got an idea where like you would take your bass side strings and run them through the body and then maybe your high end strings and run them through the top load. So you'd have kind of a hybrid of string through and top load reduces tension on your high strings maybe it'll make them sing a little higher where it's a lot of metal touching i don't know it might be terrible it might be cool but i think i might give it a shot because i'm going to get a telecaster in this series and i think i might give that a shot and let you guys know um last but not least is the super cool selector here which will allow you to uh change the phasing of these pickups so like for example or I'm sorry, not phasing, but like in series or out of series. So once you press that, for example, it'll just go like out of series or out of phase. So I guess it is sort of like changing the phasing of the pickups. I'm not sure. Um, let me know in the comments below what you think. Um, 
So like you can sort of get more of a quacky sound like you might try to seek in a Stratocaster, but you don't want a Stratocaster because you don't want to have to deal with all the tremolo problems or you don't really want a three pickup guitar or you just like the look of this Telecaster and the headstock and you just want a Telecaster, but you still need that quack at some point. You can get that um, out of this guitar. So I think that's pretty neat. Gang, uh, that has us for this one. Uh, like I said, I'm going to come back and maybe even do like an unboxing video so you can take a look inside um, at like the case behind us here, for example. Uh, this comes with sort of the same case you've seen, by the way, um, with the last series of American Pros and even the later American Standards before they switched to the American Pro. That super rugged, durable TSA latch, uh, hard plastic, uh, molded plastic case uh, with a ton of case candy, certificate of authenticity, uh, all the hang tag and all the fun stuff that comes with that. Um, so we'll check that out. We'll do an unboxing video, I think, on another one. On, on maybe the one I'm gonna get. I don't know, so I can just gush over it like a kid at Christmas, I don't know. Um, anywho, gang, that's got us. We really appreciate you guys watching the videos and the previous videos we've put up and uh, hopefully any future videos we put up. Check us out on Facebook at Mountain Music Exchange. Check us out on YouTube, uh, Mountain Music Exchange. Check us out on Instagram at Mountain Music Exchange. And uh, I think that's got it. Check us out at mountainmusicexchange.com. Gang, for Mountain Music Exchange, I'm Clay. You rock. Thank you, and have a good one.